Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of JavaScript interview series. In this session we are going to learn what is scope chain in JavaScript. Let's start. Before we understanding what is scope chain, we must know few things that are scope, global scope and local scope. So what is scope? In JavaScript, scope refers to the current context of code. And what is global scope? When you start reading JavaScript code in a document, we already in global scope. And the variables which are declared outside of a function are in global scope. Here, channel is in global scope. And what is local scope? The variables which are declared inside a function are in local scope. And local scope will be created with the invocation of function. And here you can see that full name is in local scope. Here from display function, we can access the channel variable which is in global scope. And we need to make a call to display function. You can see code will take. But we can't access the variables which are in local scope from the global scope. And if you try to access full name from the global scope, we are going to get error. There you go. We got uncut reference error. Full name is not defined. So by understanding these things, let us see what is scope chain and how it works. Let's remove this console log statement from display function and define a variable called course JavaScript. Define a function called get course one. And inside the get course one, let us print course name and just invoke the get course one function. Now you can see that as soon as you save it, we can see the course value JavaScript. Here the question is we didn't define course variable inside the get course one function scope. But how come get course one function knows from where it has to pick the course variable value and print it? Here what is happening whenever we invoke display function, the JavaScript will come inside the display function and it will find that get course one function call. And then it will go to line number nine where we printing the course value and it will look for the course variable inside the get course one scope. Since it didn't find the course variable defined inside the get course one function scope, then it will look for the get course one functions parent scope. Right? Here get course one functions parent scope is nothing but display function scope. So it will go one step up and it will look for the course variable inside the display function scope. And then it will find the course variable defined inside the display function and then it will print the value of the course. And now just move this course variable from display function to global scope. So this is the global scope. And now if you save it, we are going to see the same result. So now what is happening as in previous case, get course one function will look for the course variable inside the get course one function scope. But since you didn't find the course one variable defined inside the get course one function scope, then it will look for its parent scope. So here parent scope is display function scope. We know that even course variable is not defined inside the display function scope. Then it will climb one step up. Then it will look for the course variable inside the global scope. And then it will find the course variable defined inside the global scope and it will print the value JavaScript. So global scope is the large scope that any function or anything can reach. So now let's remove this from the global scope too. So now what will happen as usual the JavaScript will check for the course variable inside the get course one function scope. Then it will look for the its parent scope which is nothing but display function scope. Even there it is not there. And then it will climb up one more step and it will check in the global scope. So it is not defined even in the global scope now. So now if you save it you can see that error uncut reference error. And we know that global scope is the last scope that any function can reach. And this is called scope chain. After going through these examples, we can define scope chain as a hierarchy of scopes that will be searched for existence of variable or a function. 